Welcome everybody. Are we recording, right? Welcome everyone to Beyond I Do. Oh, Nancy Smart. wants to do a YouTube thumb. Uh, man, dang, bro, so rude. They're, they're all, they're the all, same. they're all Latina. <laughs> <laughs> all Latinas so, are the same. Like yeah. Dang, I'm outnumbered in here. I'm outnumbered. Dang, how many Latinos are in here? We oh, got speaking of which. Andy. I think we should have a live uh, consulting thing before we jump into the video. Tell me. Nancy, you got to change your uh, profile oh, pic on your friend. Apple suggested uh, photo. Apple suggested? Yeah, like, you know, in your like in your in your Apple yeah. contacts, you can like set your own photo that like when oh, that suggests people. Yes. Yours is this like schmoozy <laughs> selfie in the car <laughs> that like it makes it like when you call me, it makes oh it look like my, my girlfriend is calling me. Like, <laughs> Phil had to literally delete your picture because it came it's off so selfie, schmoozy. But it looks, it's like a very yeah, it's sensual. Pretty, it's it's, it's on like, me, like my it's, no, don't pull it up. 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 Girl, you don't single? What do you mean? Let me no, get a ring from the camera. But it's because it, it just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Stop, she, I gotta hide her number that. because it's more than what I even thought. I'm cringing right now. Look, call me. Call me real quick. Oh, Call me real quick, God. so that because then it then it overtakes okay, your whole phone. I will phone. take your advice, and, then and it's funny because somebody I'm talking to was like, "I love that picture." So when you call me, I see yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the she's little, talking to somebody that little creep. Creep. <laughs> little creep. Yeah. Stop. Let him love it. Let him change Wait. it. You send him the picture and say, "Hey, set this as my thing," because I got to change this because <laughs> I, I work. I right work at now. a court. Oh, let, 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 let. <laughs> oh, wait, it, it didn't overtake. That's oh, weird. see. It, it already does, changed. Though. No, it didn't change already. Here we go for everyone. Oh my gosh. What camera are you using? Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to cover her phone calling? number. Look. Oh yeah. Like you could get the idea if you're watching on YouTube. Oh my gosh. I'm but look, cringing. She's got her hand in her hair. And she's pulling it back and uh -uh. I'll be like in a meeting and someone will be like, "Oh, is that your wife calling?" I'm like, like no, but like, but I mean, she handles like, my other like, stuff. Yeah, she does everything else. I will definitely take your counseling advice. I love and that. Change it that was picture. so funny. It, this made me. It made me think of it because I'm, I'm driving so, with Phil the other I'm day, sweating. and you called me. And then uh, you came up on my on my Apple CarPlay in my car, and it was your little, your little schmoozy selfie. <laughs> and then Phil goes, "Oh my gosh, bro! I meant to tell you, uh, I had to take her her picture off my phone because whenever Nancy calls or texts me, just this oh week, he's like, gosh. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I go, know. I go, oh, I gotta mention her. <laughs> she probably yeah. doesn't even know. No, you know? honestly, yeah. I just put that picture because somebody was like, oh, if you put it, then I'll get it. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, I'll the theory's that. right. It's, it's, it's the, just a uh, different type of pick. I just well, don't want to do a corporate one. Like you have a cute yeah. one with your wife. Cause I'm married. You do? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, mine's so cute. Uh, mine's mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not surprising. <laughs> no, but my Instagram picture is of us where you can't even see our faces. Our heads are so small. <laughs> so well, yeah, here mine's uh yeah, mine's So what do you suggest uh, single people oh. put just a normal see, here's, selfie? Here everybody. It, I don't think it shows one. my phone number. Uh, oh that is that's me. It's me and my wife at like yeah, a wedding. That's, that's a nice picture. Yeah, that one's And then whenever super I call cute. people are always like, Wow, you know, you, you like I didn't know if you it was you or your, your wife, wife calling and I'm like <laughs> Bro, you, my wife ain't never gonna call you. Hey, yeah, bro, never. Yeah, <laughs> never. Right, Get what? your hopes up, homie. Don't <laughs> 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 so Alize, what's yours, girl? Let's yeah. see. Wow. You're, uh, it's like probably like a picture of like a dog. Yeah, literally like <laughs> like, a like, gold, like a golden retriever. <laughs> no, literally what Ashley did. That's her. No, picture. it is not. Please do not tell me it's that, Alize. I Wait. just I just got Alize's number for the first time yesterday. Did you? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. yeah, I went to text all you guys in a group text, and I was like, Phil, I don't have Alize's. I just always message her in Slack. So oh. you haven't you I haven't door like, dashed oh. anything for her yet? No, <laughs> no she snacks. Hasn't, she hasn't earned that yet. <laughs> no snacks. Where's your picture? Hurry up, Alize. Come on, bro. Just call me. Our You're our resident you Gen Z what? expert. Come on, bro. Stop. You don't know how to pull up your contact photo. What Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. Girl. Oh, yeah, you're cute. You're cute, girl. Well, I mean, what is it? Is she doing a face? She's oh, like an actual smile. Like a normal Her little smile up top. Yeah. What? I don't even Can know how to depict that either. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. 
Oh, oh, it's like a little, ooh, like a little shoulder in here. <laughs> is that schmoozy? But I no. can't even. No, no it's not schmoozy. It, it'd be like um, like a cute, like a cutie, like a cutie shot, like yeah, like like a sophomore like in high school <laughs> photo. Yeah, <laughs> you guys need to change all yours to like corporate photos, please. Uh, uh not the yes. corporate photo. I could not. Yes. I would not be able to take Alize seriously. Like I would need like at least like oh, an In and Out Burger next to her next to the corporate. <laughs> 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 or a bag of hot Cheetos. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like her the just new eating. Apple thing. It's pretty it, doing the long, the long photo that yeah. takes over. I think it's like really cool. cool. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got huh? it. Too bad we can't individualize it. Mine's what? No, I'm at, I'm at, I'm, please, a fishing dock. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good one, Alizette. Wait, Good one, no. Good one. No, ma'am. <laughs> I am next Wait, to that slack? 18th hole at Pebble Beach. Okay, <laughs> for people in the for people in the golf game. Oh, yeah, pull it up, pull it up. It's this one. <laughs> this one. Right? No, it's the for, other one. Uh, yeah, because you get two profiles. You get one like when you call people that shows up, and then you get one that like is in the We're corner of like text messages. Um, yeah. So, ladies, this is all a, 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 I guess an insight for you. Make sure that you're. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. You could show. Wait, you could, just don't show my push. number. You can show the camera, cover oh the yeah, you could you do can, two uh, different ones. Yeah, yeah. see, it's hard because it's not focused. But basically, for those, I know we got a lot of listeners on audio. But for those watching, it's uh, oh. me on the 18th hole at Pebble Beach. So if you're a golfer, that's like a bucket list place to golf. So if you're a golfer, immediately you recognize that's the 18th hole at Pebble Beach, and you go like, "Oh, that guy golfs," even though mine? I don't. Um, do what? whatever's in your heart of hearts, Ashley. What is yours? Oh, then that hers is like right a now. selfie. Like, yeah, you probably should, because that's a little schmoozy, too. That is. I would yeah. agree. Wait, let me see. Oh, what? Me like, I don't want you, you texting Gabriel or, or Jermaine or someone with your schmoozy <laughs> selfie. You girls aren't really pro. But here's the you thing. You can't it's even kind of, see your eyes. Here's the thing, so though. With, uh, with Apple, it's kind of a new feature. So in the past, you could kind of put a cute selfie, and it didn't, me. you know. Oh, there we go. Look, they're focusing. There. Look. Yeah. See everyone, right? You agree. That's pretty schmoozy. <laughs> you know. All right. Here I go. Changing That's her edit. being one of the bosses. Wait, let me. So, have smoothies. so I got to change it's... the poster one. Or yeah. Both. Oh, seven, yeah, yeah, yes. Both. Okay, both. let me change. Okay, let me change it. Yeah, both. Oh, those are all yeah. suggested of oh, me. Oh, so this pops up the whole thing? Right? Oh, that's oh, yes. so cool. Now show everyone, Nancy. No. That's what, like, no. show the camera. No. That's what I get when I when you call. Oh, and that was God. like, that was, look, look. Oh, some people are like, God. I got to pull over. I got to look at this on YouTube. I got to pull over. <laughs> all the single guys right now are like, hold on, let me pull over. There we go. See, look. Why hey. is she going? Phil's like, I got to delete this. <laughs> <laughs> Angie going to put a knife in my neck. She's <laughs> single. Oh, yeah. Ready to mingle. <laughs> and Ashley's ready. I'm gonna be married tomorrow. Right? She better be. Okay, Come on. I want to go to a wedding. This. Come is on. Is this too smoozy? Yeah, that's too smooth. Man, now I gotta. Yeah. I gotta. You, your your guys' selfie like game is a little guys. wild. <laughs> a little wild, what? girls. This is let too me change, wild. Let me change, too, huh? let me oh my god. Yes. <laughs> trying to look like oh, Pocahontas in that. What? I'm Okay, like here. Pocahontas. What's a what's a Pocahontas song? What's the song that's singing? Uh, I'll uh, change it. To, oh wait, do I want that definitely one? Definitely can't do a Miami. Actually, picture. we're supposed to be doing a podcast right Sorry. now. Change your change your picture Sorry. later. <laughs> Alex is like Alex is like I do not want to be editing, editing this. Oh my gosh, how was last time? Oh hey, my gosh. But great. word okay, for the anyways. wise though. So why is that? Those listening. Thing? Yes. Go into your phone and double check because <laughs> that's what you Apple, want me to put. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a hit job on in Israel that someone in Palestine put on her when we were in Israel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You keep keep that. Keep that. Keep that. We're the, we're the, we're, not, yeah, we're the Palestinian <laughs> hijab that they put. <laughs> a modest woman. <laughs> that's. That would be so funny, though, if that was. So, <laughs> that I, would, I, I would laugh every time I saw it. You'd be like, I don't know if I would you'd be that. like, like uh, I'm having like a guest to the church and you have to call them to tell them what time the airport's going to like or the car is going to get them. And they're right. like, what is this <laughs> right. Muslim woman is doing? Your call assistant? your assistant. There we go. Like your there assistant's Muslim. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's going to take me longer. So anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Later. Later. What's up, everybody? All Welcome right. to Beyond, Beyond I Do. I do. Go back in your contacts, contacts, and uh, look at the picture you have, and uh, maybe make sure it's maybe appropriate. You should change it. Yeah. yeah, I just had to change mine. Mine was inappropriate. But it's new. It's only about like, I think a year old. That Apple yeah. like used your like your picture mm -hmm. that you set. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In the past, you had to like set, set it, it yourself. Yeah. 
now you can share your like yeah that whole photo with so that no one's really ever like thinking about how does that come up when i call them right you just thought oh I, i'm cute it's a cute photo <laughs> i'll put it up you. you know yeah Guys, we don't really take photos. And then I know like a lot of pastors that use like them speaking on stage as their like little photo thing. And I'm always like, eh. Let me hold no, my phone No, thank you. Let me yeah. hold my <laughs> to myself. So I know like I get like a lot of texts and calls from suggested pastors and it's always like them doing something on stage or something. They're, like sitting at like a Q&A session on a God. sofa or something like that. Mm -hmm. The microphone. And then, yeah, with the microphone like, like this. God. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, the I'm just doing me and my wife. Out. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I like for you real, and your for real. Wife. That's it's a good one. It's a good one. Let's people know right away. Oddly enough, which I thought was Family name. Um, what? exactly. You just said it. So um, our jewelry partner, Aaron, mm -hmm. he recently made me this this necklace. And so I uh, I'm wearing a necklace that Aaron made and he's a partner of Beyond I Do. And so if you're looking for engagement rings, wedding rings, gifts, mm -hmm. bracelets, anything like that, you know, he has things. Um, oh, you want to show it? I was like, you don't really have to show it. I'm just mentioning it. But I made these little deuce uh, uh, cubes, and um, we'd been working on it for quite a while and talking about it for quite a while, and I had some old jewelry that I sold off, and I, I got this made. But basically, the necklace in cubes says Selah, which is a, which mm -hmm. is a, a psalmist uh, <laughs> saying. It's kind of a pause, a breath in between poetry in the Old Testament. So it's kind of like a way to praise God. You say, say a lot at the end of something. And then in between, on the other sides, because they spin, I, I did an emoji to represent each of my, everyone in my family. So me, mm -hmm. you, the boys, and our dog, Rooster. So mm -hmm. I did that, and I was out earlier this week, and this like really nice young Korean girl, probably like in her 20s, saw mm -hmm. it, and she was like, wow, well, such a nice necklace. Where did you buy that? And I was like, oh, I didn't <coughs> buy it. I, I made it. it, it my, a, a jeweler made it mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh my gosh, I love it. What like what does it mean? What do the emojis mean? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, they're, it's my wife and my kids and blah, blah, blah. And she, at, like, she looked so shocked. And she was like, wow, that's really unique. And I was like, what, what's unique about it? <laughs> and she goes, that like, as a guy, you would be proud to show off your family and like mm -hmm. take your family everywhere with you. She's like, you're like, that's like a real family man mm -hmm. thing. She's like, that's so rare nowadays. That's, that's pretty awesome. Did you say I'd take her with me on my and arm I was too? Like, yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, I got another psycho tattooed on my, her face tattooed on my arm. But she was like, literally, she was blown away by it. And I was blown away that she was blown, blown away, away by it. it. Yeah. You know, cause <laughs> At least in the Christian space, we try to, um, whether we all do a good job or not, it's at least a regular conversation to right. be engaged in your family and be involved in your family mm -hmm. and everything like that. But to her who, yeah. um, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe so, maybe not grew up in a Christian culture, but more than likely not. It just seemed by, by the way she was talking, she was blown away that a guy would be proud to yeah. show off her his wife and talk about his wife and have his kids and be able to talk want to talk about his kids and stuff like that and she and then literally she I'm with there with my brother Nathan so mm -hmm. then we turn around the corner and she looks at Nathan she's like his necklace is amazing I can't believe that he's like showing his family off like that mm -hmm. and Nathan's like oh yeah it's a really cool necklace huh and then they leave and I'm just like that's so crazy that that was yeah. so. Uh, rare rare to her yeah you know <laughs> and maybe how many more people that that that's pretty rare for right you know um yeah because i, I mean uh, i i mean you even saying it is weird because i think about everything that i've like labeled as my family like i have my ring on right now and it says adam matthias and thomas and i have a tattoo that says adam matthias and thomas i have my bracelets that are getting shipped they're coming Aww. in and it's adam cheeky and tc and like it's oh yeah, uh, yeah. by uh, what was it bubble yeah bubble bar yeah, like forty dollar bracelets yeah nice. but I'm like they're nice but yeah. yeah I never thought that that would be weird for someone to just be excited about like I love my family like I love my boys I love my husband but like, here's the thing do you think that would be uh, not very unique or impressive for a woman but it would be for a man yeah because yeah. if I said well because if I say if I say that like as a woman you guys are like that's so cute it's expected kind but like yeah but like if hearing it from a man like doing it yeah that is kind of not yeah as common yeah 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 I don't think it's as like I think she, yeah, I think like it is other, my, I, I you know, think one it's of, very valid like one, she's, one of my best shocked, friend yeah. one of my best friends Eddie he you know he has uh boys that are uh yeah five and and he's he has tattoos of them at 
uh, one years old, and then he'll do. They just turned five, so he's doing yeah. another one at yeah, five, five years, years old, old, and he'll do no, the, when they fifteen turn six, and yeah, twenty yeah, yeah, yeah. or six, yeah, uh, <coughs> six, twelve, and like twenty-one yeah, 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 or yeah. something like that. He do, and he's like, and they're big, and they're, they're like big, portraits yeah. of his boys. And like when you think about it, it was like, yeah, I guess not a lot of people tattoos aside but yeah. jewelry or, or or really anything else social media but i like, do think that um, is but yeah, in my d- christian space like a lot of the guys i know like um they post about their wife and kids but, but like but not to jewelry, her, that was but no, so but not jewelry. but like, yeah it, jewelry it, it, but that, that jewelry, it was to her it wasn't amazing that it was in jewelry it was the fact that i could have had the, you guys on a t-shirt i could have had you guys she was not amazed that it was jewelry it was amazed that like oh you're really proud about your family and you want to show off your, you want to talk about your family, show them off. Like there's in her head, like there's so many other things that you could put on something that you invest in that wouldn't just be your wife and kids. You know, it was amazing to her. She was yeah. fascinated. No, I thought, that well, is, how many but, people in a secular I mean, but, space but would be amazed I, I, by Maybe that? it was something that you just said though, because that's a conversation starter because you were able to say, this is about my family. So she's basically maybe saying like you're wanting to talk about your family because you wouldn't have put that on your necklace if that wasn't something that you wanted to talk about and how each one of your pendants resembles your family. Maybe. I'm happy because, to talk about it, but I didn't get it to talk about it. Well, you better have. I got, I, 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 I got it because I am it means the gator something to and me. I will tear you yeah. apart. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I I got it to just like. Yeah. Because you're proud. Yeah, to rep- yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't want like. I, you, know, you know me. I'm more of an introvert. I don't <laughs> want people like, to talk about it. He's like you know? flipping like, it back over to the law. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, nothing. Yeah, it means yeah, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Say law. Yeah. He's like no. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh my but, god. He's like, are you a Christian? No. Then it doesn't. It doesn't involve you. <laughs> right. Yeah. And maybe because people haven't really experienced like that healthy, you know, which I know we have a video about, but that healthy relationship where like somebody is proud to mm. a man will say is proud to showcase their woman if they don't have kids or mm-hmm. you know i mean social media might be different because yeah. you know that can be different but whether it's jewelry shirt tattoo mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um or stuff like that so yeah yeah just it just it just got it. it got me thinking about like how um especially for, as christians like how much of a precedent it would be if like more men proudly in various ways that worked for them talked right. about or displayed their wife and their children in a very proud way uh, because uh, that got me thinking when she said that and I thought about it more and then I thought, well, how many people do I know that aren't Christian that um, are, and I even know Christians who, 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 you know, can improve on this, but how many people aren't Christian aren't like just kind of keep kids and mm-hmm. wife and all like really private and don't talk about it and don't, you know, they'll, they'll post more about a football team or whatever than yeah. they will about their family. But how much of a precedent would you set and, and value would you set to be more, you could call it whatever you want, excited, braggadocious, uh, um, invested in mm-hmm. articulating outward ways in very different ways. Um, like how much you, are proud to be a husband or a father, you know, that would like a hundred years ago, that was a very common, uh, noble thing to be like, I'm a husband, I'm a father. But nowadays it seems like it's not, um, it's just kind of like a byproduct. It's like, yeah, I fell in love and I'm a husband now. And you know, yeah, it's, yeah, I got a wife, she at home, you know, and yeah, I got kids, they do sports, they do. And then I meet others that are like, very, I'm very inspired by their mm-hmm. involvement with uh, their their family, you mm-hmm. know, and and uh, and to me it sets an example <coughs> to to a lot of other people. Well, then I would ask you this because I, I find myself loving bragging about you. I mean, I was in a space this past three days where I was able to not only talk about myself and what what I've done and what I'm doing, but I was able to express how much of an influence Adam has. And how um, much I admire how much he does. Because there was a space where I was talking to somebody and they were talking about like, oh, how did you and your husband meet? And I was telling him and I was like, one thing that's really unique is that when he's ever in these spaces. So I was in a space and it's called a women's cohort. And they have influencers through media, marketing, um, tech, pastoring, mentorship, leadership, uh, um, uh, 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 nonprofits. And so in all these spaces and Adam's been in these spaces. And as I'm sitting in this room, 
I can pinpoint like maybe one group that I know that I would like flourish in and I know that I would like stand out in. But like as I was sitting in this gr- these groups, I'm looking at and I know Adam sat in there and I'm looking at it and I'm like, he would be good in every single mm-hmm. group. And I was so excited as a wife that like when someone asked me about it, like, oh, your husband's been to these? And I was like, yeah. And it got me thinking, like, as we did breakout groups, I'm like, what group would Adam have gone in? Because he can go in all of them, Mm -hmm. all these spaces. And I was telling him what he does with like overflow and how he's connected with Vive and how he's connected in all these other avenues and areas and cohorts and leaderships and how he influences with tech and media. And I was like, I was, I was bragging. I was like, I got a man of all mans. But, Hello. but, <laughs> but as I was saying very that, kind, nice. there was a point where I also did mention, I said, this isn't a, um, what did I say? This isn't, because I guess it could, could go both ways. But I, I think I had made a, a statement like, this isn't a, um, a learned thing. This is a taught thing. So Adam had to work at this. This wasn't something that naturally came to Adam of like, oh, I'm just a genius in tech and it came naturally to me. I can do, uh, I, I, I knew it as I was growing up. This was something that Adam had to teach himself and had to be disciplined and determined that this is something that I want to learn and this is how I, and so then it was learned, taught and learned that, that he can grow and be in these spaces. Is that the right word? Is that how it's supposed to, is that what I'm saying sure. correctly? Yeah. Um, and how he was like, I desire to be in those spaces and places. Not to say that I can never, that I could do that if I wanted to, mm-hmm. but I don't have a desire to. So the fact that he was like, I, you know what I want to be, I want to know it all. And so I think when you have a spouse that's wanting to continually learn and grow and aspire after things, as a wife, you can only admire the goodness that he's doing because I think as he's doing those in those areas, he's still not forgetting the ministry he has at home to where he's still in his word. He's still seeking after God and bringing it back home. So some of the things that you've even learned, you've taught me. And I'm like, he's like, hey, let's learn about this. Hey, I want to show you this. Did you know about this new tech thing? Things that he knows I'd be interested in. Other things he'd be like, oh, she's going to be bored out of her mind and does not care. So he brings those interesting things to me or he actually just makes me knowledgeable just so I know if I'm ever in those spaces, I've heard it to where I can relate and hold conversation. But all that to say is like when I think that spouses are willing to talk or, or talk or gloat about their spouses is because they've made them comfortable and confident at home in their marriage that, that I believe in my husband. I want to support my husband. I want to, I I want to be on his team. And I think that it it goes back to what you were saying and and what you sent. And we're going to talk about today is, um, how you, how you're made or how you feel in a relationship and how you feel in a healthy relationship and how you feel in a toxic relationship. So normally in toxic relationships, there's going to be a lot of bluff and, and lies about how you how you portray or you perceive your spouse to make it seem like they are one thing. And then you go back and you have all this turmoil and grief because you, you just lied about it. Or you're in a healthy relationship where you can honestly and outwardly say, I have a spouse that loves me, that cares about me, and is doing the work in the kingdom to where I can gloat about it in a healthy, God honest way to where it does come off authentic and true. And that's where I feel like in our relationship, we are, we're able to come off authentic and true because we're able to be relational. We're Mm -hmm. able to tell people our struggles and our strife along with telling them our wins and our losses. Like, and they, and they, and Mm -hmm. we're authentically us and we're true about it. There's nothing to hide between you and I when it comes to our relationship or our marriage, because I feel like healing comes when we can be authentic to where other people can relate that to theirs to say, like, if they can find healing and restoration in their marriage or in relationship, we can too, because they did it, we can do it. So we can mm-hmm. just be an example to other relationships. Yeah. But all that to say is, I mean, I don't mind gloating about my husband because, I mean, bro, when I hear it, when someone would be like, oh, Ashley, I heard this, I'd be like, who told you? My mama. They'd be like, no, Adam. I'd be like, oh, did he now? <laughs> did he gloat about his well, wife? I think, I, think, I think every every husband, uh, if I could speak for every husband, this one probably I could, every husband wishes their wife was proud of them or at least articulated mm. that they were proud mm. of them. Uh, I know a lot of married husbands and um, some hear it, but many don't yeah. from their wife. They 
hear often where they're falling short. They hear often where mm-hmm. they need to pick up the pace or or do better at, which um, very well could be the case. And that's what they do. They, you know, get an occasional thank you if the husband buys them something nice. And, but that's about it. That, mm-hmm. that That's where it stops is, oh, I love my husband. He got me, uh, you know, a new car, you mm-hmm. know, or whatever. Right. Um, um, which I had to get you recently because I totaled your car in a car accident. <laughs> a semi hit me in December. So funny, but, not funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm alive. Thank God. Yes. Uh, it well. was pretty nasty, but, uh, so, but it's like occasion. it's like you get the occasional thank you or the husband just gets a happy mm-hmm. birthday. You know, thank you. We love you. If that, right. But many men I talk to are married. It's just like, man, I feel like my wife didn't, you know, could like, as long as bills were paid, she, she could care less whether I'm breathing or not. And I know that's not the case of how she feels, but that's how he feels Feels, because, uh, he doesn't necessarily ever get validated. And just because men come off as strong because men come off as, uh, um, they seem emotionally unavailable. It, that could be reasons why, and just because it's reasons why doesn't mean that he doesn't have emotions. So mm-hmm. to hear his wife either to personally him speak highly of him or to hear her tell someone else, which would go even further for him mm-hmm. in terms of creating a personal value for him. He hears you go out with a couple and then just, you know, spend a couple of minutes and just and just brag on your man mm-hmm. on how he's what he's doing, how he's doing Um the the uh, mo- most of the time what we've seen like if we've done marriage counseling if the if the wife can kind of catch a, a vision for speaking life into her husband then uh, many times the areas that you feel that he's falling short in he who actually he's aware he's aware of mm-hmm. he, there's very few men that are truly naive and right. they're just like they don't know what's going on right. He, he, he's aware he's not taking out the trash. He's, he's right. aware he's not putting down the toilets. He, he's aware of those things. He's mm-hmm. aware he's not showing up to the kids' games. Like he's, a, he's 100% aware of those things. Uh, his motivation is lacking. And um, one of the ways that could possibly you could motivate your husband is by speaking life into him on what he does do Mm -hmm. and whether that's to him personally or with a group of people next time you're out with family you know your own personal family right uh brag on your husband Mm -hmm. you know man let me tell you about john today what he did or Mm -hmm. this week man he came home he was working a double shift and then he came and he was like i saw him playing with the kids or he sat down with the son Mm -hmm. our son and Mm -hmm. you know looked over about man it was like who who does that it's such a rare man blah 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 i mean he'll start perking up his chest he'll start walking a little bit differently and maybe as he begins to be motivated to know, man, she's, she is seeing me in, in the areas that I am working hard in. Yeah. May, maybe I should. And some may say, well, I, I shouldn't have to do all that in order to get, yeah. Okay. Well, your philosophy right now isn't working. So right, <laughs> yeah, right. there's a lot of should have, could have, would have, right, that, right. that's true. You he know? should be bragging so, out me. I take care yeah, of the yeah, kids. I okay. made him dinner. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, okay. Yeah. yeah we know yeah, that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so it's like, just because something ought to be a certain way doesn't give you an excuse. Not why not you to do yeah. That be, or else then you just pay a uh, tick for tack at that point yeah. and it's like i'll do something if you do something and then he's saying you do i'll do something if you do something yeah. right um men are a little bit easier to motivate than women are uh, and right. and women admit we're complicated but then when it comes to you know certain things it's just simple he needs to just blank he's like no i did that 20 times it's not right. that simple it's not, it's not that simple <laughs> you were still mad at me that day even when i tried right. to do everything you wanted me to do so because women's emotions are very complicated right? right i could do everything you want me to do in a day but let the kids piss you off once and didn't matter what i did right you're just upset you yeah. know yeah uh, it's uh, like <laughs> it's like it's like me saying okay adam you didn't pick up you, you didn't pick up the, your laundry basket and you didn't take it upstairs, but then you'll go, Hey, but I put the dishes away, but I would be like, Hey, but you still didn't pick up your laundry mm-hmm. and you're not grateful that you've never put the dishes away, but you put the dishes away. Yeah. I'd be like, you put them dishes away. I'll take your laundry up. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. like, or you did that, but when you're going to, you've never you, given the boys a right, bath. Right. When you're going to do that. Right. Even though I do do that. All oh, time. thank God. You know? <laughs> bath time's wild. Yeah. Bath time's wild. It is like, you know. It's a whole job. No, no, no. Bath time is so wild because the kids like to splash. So it becomes splash zone. It becomes literally um, shamus in the water <laughs> and it's a show. 
and it's a mess. And I'm always like, yeah. you want to give them a bath? He's Ashley, like, sure. Ashley was just recently gone for three days at this retreat yes. she mentioned. And, and let, here, let me, I'm giving my husband kudos on this because I wow. will say, and I've, I, I text you this morning. You did, I'm not did. saying you didn't. I mean, Don't give me my credit. My credit is due. <laughs> It's like, let me brag about you right, right. now. Right. This is what wise do. Um, and never mind. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Forget it. You ruined the yeah. moment. Yeah. You ruined yeah. it. Too late. Too late. <laughs> no, I, it was something where I, I haven't, I, I'll tell you this. I haven't traveled alone in 12 years. In 12 years, I have not traveled alone. We've been together. So we would travel together. Or then we had the boys, and or then you've he would traveled tra- with your mom. Oh, traveled with my mom or siblings. Or siblings. Or like that. I have not traveled alone in twelve years. So when I mean I was in an all-time high of like emotions, girl, it was wild. So this was different than like t- not taking your kids and traveling with your husband. It was like I'm by myself. I I almost forgot how to do the airport thing. I was like I normally am just the passenger princess. Come on. Yep. So. She's, I, real, she's really blessed. In yeah, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> very, very, very. I don't think about anything. I just show up. Um, but anyways, I came home and normally you come home from a trip without when I came, would come home from him and the kids just miss us and they're like on us and they don't want to leave us. Yesterday when I got home, the boys were obviously still a little sleepy. But then this morning it was like we were back in our routine like any normal week. But the boys we're like with him the whole time this morning and wanted to be with him. And that as a mother and seeing the bond that they had over the last three days did something for me. Cause I was like, my kids are good. Mm-hmm. My kids are good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it was emotional because I was and like, they have a good, good father. Yes, who <laughs> you <laughs> are, who you are. <laughs> he loves to ruin a moment. <laughs> Love, take your kudos. Can't take nothing seriously. Take nothing seriously. <laughs> I was about to cry too. I know, right? My <laughs> tear was coming down and I started busting out laughing. Ruined it. But I'm in the car and I was like, how was your time, boys? Oh, mommy, it was so fun. Daddy took us to Sky Zone. Then we went and had Dippin' Dots, the rainbow kind. You know, we like the rainbow kind. And then we had pizza. And then we did some homework. And then he played with us. Mommy, Daddy played with us. And it was so fun. And it just, it was something that that just overwhelmed me with emotions to where I was just so happy that they had that time together, that they were able to have that relationship with their dad. And 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 he took the time, you know, where Adam was like, I think I may need help. And it was, I, I believe it was God. Everyone was busy. Everyone was busy. So Adam took the time and he's like, you know what? I'm going to take this time, invest in them. No iPads. We're going to enjoy our time. We're going to just spend time together. And they were fine. They had a great time. And as a mom, that just gave me, gave me so much confidence, so much reassurance to know, like, God has got my kids. Mm. If it's not me, it's my husband. You know what I mean? And so that genuinely, I appreciate you and, and mm-hmm. allowing, allowing me to get away. I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> and, and just have that time. When well, you because, got your women's cruise in, in this year, and, you're, and, getting, yeah. you're getting made in the shade right oh, now. Oh gosh. No, nice. I told, I told the group, I told the crew <laughs> they were like, th- that we were there. I said, they were like, what are you most excited for? I was like, I'm excited because this is the first time in 12 years that I got to travel and I'm on a girl's trip with nobody that I know. <laughs> I was like, yeah. this is my girl's trip that I don't know anybody. So, but. But all that to say is that is my bragging is like it was something unique that my boys were able to have that one on one time with their dad. And and I wasn't sad they didn't miss me. Like I knew they missed me, but it they were OK. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they it didn't was. ask about you much. Maybe only once a day. <laughs> uh, He's like, let me throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I forgot they... you were going to say something, too, before I cut you off. But no, I appreciate I you. Say, I thank did, you so I, much. I did, yes, of course. And I did use a little bit. <laughs> uh, thank you for saying <laughs> yes, that. Well, she sent me a very nice text this morning. We already had our, our moment about that. I so. love to brush it off. Yeah, right. But but but. I did need a little assistance because you have a very strict no melatonin gummy rule oh, anymore in the oh, house. And he got snitched on. And uh, <gasps> and so just just for these three days, I you know went to CVS and <laughs> and I grabbed some Stop. melatonin gummies because I still had work to do, so I needed them to go. <laughs> I was <laughs> exactly like fall to sleep. <laughs> so I needed work to get done, so I needed them to go to sleep. So I had sermons to prepare. I was going to say, you know, yeah, like, it's not I like had, you were um, just at home. Like you've been, I mean, I'm I'm planning the, Easter, on the assistant yeah. side, so I see 
everything. Yeah. You just did a speaking engagement last night. Late, we got yep. home like super late. Super went late. to dinner after. It's just like you're back to back. So yeah. and nobody yeah. has any podcast excuse. meeting. Yeah. And I did a podcast in LA yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Drove then out came back. Good then the OC. Yeah. Is yeah. Speak at an, yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. So nobody has sermon any prepping, type of all that excuse. stuff like that. So mm, then it was like it. at night, I, I it needed them to sleep by eight thirty. So, so then so, what happened last night? Um, <laughs> Thomas went and got the box of gummies that I hid so that you wouldn't <laughs> find. <laughs> and goes because I told them boys, these are our little secret. Because it's been like over a year since they've been allowed. Oh, yeah. to have I was like, you're not, they're not getting because Ashley gummies. read an article and even yeah. even Doctor Erica told us that it's uh, not. They, they could stop producing melatonin, melatonin if they have it too much. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, which is natural, you know, the sleep uh, hormone. So Ashley was like, that's it. We're not doing it anymore. But then so it's been over a year. <laughs> and normally, you know, Thomas has like a little, little piece because he's so small. And then Matthias gets one piece. And so. But you were splitting his. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. were split. No, we were splitting Matthias's a year ago because oh, Matthias was littler. Yeah, and yeah. so then Matthias went to daddy. He was like, "Ooh, we get our night gummies again, daddy. Don't split mine like you used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's so they remember. Wait, right so right how'd you find so out? So I found out because <laughs> Matthias was already knocked out by the time I got him. And then Thomas was awake and he was just with me and I was just kind of getting unpacked and stuff like that. And then he goes, oh, mommy, um, daddy uh, bought our gummies again. And he brings it out and he's like, look, can I have some? Yeah. Where were you? Oh, we you were gone. You were, yeah, yeah, she yeah, texted me. And so I texted him. I said, yeah. you brought melatonin back in my house? <laughs> I said, and he's I, like, who snitched on me? I said, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I, and we had a whole talk. I was like, when mommy comes back, I don't want this brought up anymore. Oh, it's just for yeah, I have yeah, no yeah, idea yeah. where you got them. They're, I don't. Were they in the cabinet in front of the TV? The no, they were TV? like uh, under your nightstand. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I would have never seen them. <laughs> yeah. No. And so I was like, let's keep this between us but i'm like i need you boys you guys got to go to bed yeah at a decent hour you know because without you not being there i didn't know if they would like fall asleep easy or not yeah. or whatever yeah. so or i'm up. like you guys yeah. gotta be and i needed to go downstairs and work on my computer so yeah. i needed them to be a, in, like in stay asleep yeah. so yeah they they, they st so i needed just a, a little bit of aid which was a little sleep aid but other than that they you know we handled our business together and, you know, we got homework done. We got bath times done wow. uh, because Thomas pooped himself one day. And so he went in the backyard and just and just did work in his underwear. So <laughs> <laughs> we, had to, we had to go up. And, did you cut you know, the underwear off? Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I threw okay, it away okay, everything like that. So and didn't hurt himself with the scissors. So. Yeah, right? And didn't stab yeah. Adam. Adam didn't no. stab himself with the scissors. Yeah. No. So. And yeah, I came home. Quite eventful. And the house was not a mess. I, that was one thing that I thought was wow. it was going to. It was not a mess. I cleaned okay. up. Yes. I cleaned up the night before last. Yes. And, and it was. And in the morning, I came home from work in between a meeting. And yep. I, and I tidied and up. I was. I was 100% sure I was coming into a, a mayhem. 100 percent sure well and here's where it honestly came from was because i didn't want you to come back and i honestly didn't want to hear it from you <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> i would love to say I, love <laughs> I would love to say that it came out of the kindness of my heart but it, it was <laughs> it was i know that i crushed it over three days and i was like if she comes home and she whines or complains about how messy this house is mm -hmm. which was not perfectly spick and span when it she wasn't. left by the it way wasn't. but i knew i would get grief for it it was like just went just did a quick overhaul trashed yeah. everything all the boys clothes in the in their hamper blah 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 because i was like when she comes home i'm getting this credit for these three days which of her regardless. yeah i know but you but you would have been like you like thank you, blah blah blah. Oh, but you, you were, but you, but but you couldn't threw the kid's diaper in the in the. Or, no, or the I sought the Lord for the, the last you know. three days. So yeah, yeah. There was a level of patience <laughs> and grace that I knew I I could not allow you to ruin. Yeah. No, I, knew I you need to walk in that heck, favor. But it, but it, but it was like um, I want to. I'm going to clean it because I don't want to hear it from her. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. husbands. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. And did you yeah, hear learn, anything? Learn, 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 no, I did. I, I exactly. Thank you and I, it was I great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it takes uh, it, it, both sides. It does, but it was yeah. great. And I appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I don't have, you know, that's the thing is, you, I guess I would say, because I know that it's probably hard for a lot of women when they feel like they either have a lot of um, either resentment or hurt or uh, disunity, I would say, within their marriage to brag about their husbands. So... 
what good context would you give? Because you're like, it, just do it. Just do it. How, how do we, I guess, how do we brag about each other? How is it that it's so easy for us? Because I tried to explain it. And I don't know if I explained it the best. I'm able to, you know, I love you. I know that you work hard for my family. I know you work hard in, 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 in the church. Um, but I believe they both, home life is way, is so important to you. So you take care of us. Yeah. first and then obviously ministry comes and you do amazing job in ministry that's why i'm able to brag because i know you take care of us at home would you say that is the reason why or like what maybe, how would you maybe. communicate that to somebody to say like you know we're able to brag to each other not because we think oh we have this great amazing healthy relationship because no like you said i didn't want to hear it from you yeah, today yeah. so that's why yeah. i cleaned yeah, yeah yeah and that yeah. wasn't out of anger that wasn't out of judgment coming that you knew or the wrath of ashley that was coming that was just basically like you know what I think I want a little bit of peace when she gets home because I know she probably had a great time and I had a great time with the boys. Yeah. So yeah, if this is yeah, one thing yeah. that I know that if well, I know joking my aside, wife, I, I wanted you to have peace too. I didn't want you yeah, to be like, right. Oh, I got to call the cleaner now and I, yeah, or yeah. I got to do all this yeah. or whatever, you know, like, so, you know, um, like, cause I love bragging about you and I think that you love bragging about me and it, it brings me joy when you do bring about me like the same for you. Like he did. He bragged about you yesterday at the speaking thing. Oh. Mm. Did I? Was what, just what like, did yeah, I say? you did. You were just like, it was so cute. I should have recorded it. Oh, I said it. she could beat me up. No. <laughs> well, that you too. did, but you said it that in a very, too. like, a more romantic way. Okay. Where it was just like, so she could put me know, in a headlock. Right. Uh, Ashley, you know, she, so many. They were like, if you. <laughs> yeah, up your game, boy. Right. Oh That's yeah. He, it you know, and no, he Adam not for like Adam would be like, but minutes. she, but it all comes with an attitude. <laughs> yeah, it comes at a price, my boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he didn't mention that part though. So. He, he did. Right. He did. No. No. He didn't mention oh, that. I was gonna say, gonna say. No, no, no. He was no. just bragging about you. All right, everybody. Welcome to our advertisement. Yeah. So you're watching our episode. We did a short break. Yep. What do we got a little break for, Ashley? Oh, something really, really exciting. <laughs> that when you came home and told me about the news, I was overjoyed. And I hope you had 30 pieces, but you only had one. But it's okay. Yeah. We yeah. are going to be talking about our new partnership. Yes. With an amazing jeweler. Yes. So we have big news. We've teamed up with the exceptional jeweler, Aaron Barnett. Uh, to bring you a unique jewelry experience from precious metals to custom creations, Aaron has it all, whether you're treating yourself for or surprising a loved one. So it could be for you or someone you love, okay? Mother, grandmother, sibling, you know, spouse, yep. a loved one. His jewelry is a testament to cherished moments. As part of our community, you get special discounts and a chance to visit his private showroom in Los Angeles. So for anniversaries, birthdays, or just because, uh, discover Aaron's jewelry in our show notes. Elevate your relationships with exquisite pieces from our partner, Aaron Barnett. It's a great relationship that we have because now we can offer great discounts to our Beyond I Do community awesome. to hook them up. And so you visit, yeah, like we said, visit the show notes and let's get back into the show. Bragging about you. It was yeah, sweet. I, well, I, th you know, I think number one, someone at some point has has to start, uh, you know, has to make that decision that they're going to speak highly of their spouse, regardless of um, how you think your spouse is acting. Uh, uh, there's always there's probably something good that your spouse is doing, um, even if it's one thing. If there's a hundred things and they're just doing one thing and their one thing is they do all the, like, let's just say you have a husband who every Saturday mows the lawn, takes care of the grass. Like, there's mm -hmm. a lot of people, just look around at people's yards. Not oh, everyone does that. You know that's important to me. You know, yeah. So, so you may have a husband, like, he unengaged with the family, he unengaged with the kids. He, you know, he go to work, he come home, goes to sleep. Saturdays, he just completely takes care of the outside house. I mean, now we, okay, there's one thing we found that we can... Mm -hmm. You could be at something next time or you could tell him, just like, man, guys, I bet I, I, I think that my husband has the best front lawn mm. in our neighborhood. He he it, he spends hours and you're really saying, like, why did he spend hours? This is so annoying. <laughs> but you're like, he spends oh. hours in the front yard, yeah. in the backyard, and it's so pristine. And yeah. I I love how much he cares about and then maybe, you know, 
two weeks down the line or something like that, you're like, hey, you remember how I was telling everyone how much care you put in the front lawn and the backyard? And I just love if you maybe just gave a fraction of that to like maybe the kids or maybe me and, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, the same way you take care of that rose bush. Like, I, I'd love if you look at me as long as you look at that rose bush, mm-hmm. you know, they're yeah. like yeah, yeah, try yeah. to correlate it in a way that he understands like what you're seeing or saying or, mm-hmm. you know. You know how you pick up around the lawn? Like, can you maybe help me out in the house and do that? But mm-hmm. you can't do like, don't do it on the front end. Do, right. do it, you know, deposit. Um, I think Pastor Kenny has done that before. I've heard heard someone in counseling before. Like, if you want to take something out from your spouse, you have to be depositing something mm, or else or else yeah. what you're taking from them is like their essence, who they are. And so and so if there's something you need, want them to change, you want something to do, if you've not put anything in them and deposit anything, then all you're doing is pulling um, really brokenness from them or 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 you're going to get anger from them. But like if you're depositing and you're positing and every day or every couple of days, you're you're taking up a, a deposit of of five compliments or, you know, six hugs or mm-hmm. seven kisses or whatever that is. Right. And then you're saying, Hey, I need a, um, I'm going to re- withdraw two uh, corrections today. Mm-hmm. Like it could potentially start to be a little bit healthier mm-hmm. if you actually have some deposits in there. Right. right? right. We, we do a lot of marriage counseling and, and a lot of it boils down into, um, in the sense of if the husband's frustrated, it is because he doesn't feel like anything's been deposited. And normally for him, and we talk about it a lot of times is, is, uh, you know, when you look at intimacy, there's three forms of intimacy, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, there's emotional, mm-hmm. uh, physical and spiritual. Yeah. And when we do marriage counseling, we'll tell couples, Hey, you have three forms of intimacy And our marriage sprint covers this. Uh, Nathan and Sanaz teach that lesson, but, um, you know, you have three forms of intimacy, uh, spiritual, physical, emotional. Mm-hmm. And then we kind of explain what each one is, you know, physical is obviously the, the obvious one we know about mm-hmm. marriage and intimacy physical is everything physical right mm-hmm. and then but emotional is everything emotional mm-hmm. there's compliments thank yous i love yous that's being seen being present mm-hmm. depositing time all that kind of stuff like that uh you know involvement with the family or in 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 the family life and then you have uh spiritual which is uh time together, whether that be praying together or, or you just independently spending time with God that mm-hmm. equals submitted to God with each other. That's church time. It's community involvement. There's a spiritual thing. And we'll often ask couples like, Hey, where do you think in these three areas, you know, you guys are struggling in the husband says, I think we're struggling in physical intimacy. The wife goes, I think we're struggling with emotional intimacy. And then they both go, yeah, we for sure don't have spiritual intimacy, yeah, right, all right, of them, right, you know? Right, right, right. And then we go, man, well, that, you know, could that maybe be a reason why we're missing each other? Right, And then they right. usually like, yeah, I'm like, listen, the wife has a version of intimacy that she's right. looking for from you. The husband has a version of intimacy he's looking for right. you. And then, and then we're all mature enough to know that, you know, eight times out of 10, people tend to be sp- uh, struggling with each other spiritually, right. intimacy. Right. And so it's like, hey, what would happen if we started working on those things and start to see how other areas begin to improve, right? And and, and right. there's many ways that we share on how that improvement can come. So I, I think that as couples are um, needing to speak highly of each other, there should be a step forward. There should be an honest conversation about where you're at, both in intimacy, but also in respect. Mm-hmm. Because I think with us, like you and I have a lot of respect for each other. Uh, You're not lazy. I'm not lazy. Mm -hmm. Um, You're not passive. I'm not passive um, in any way. We're very passionate about things. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes we miss the mark in those areas of passion or whatever. But but you and I have independent, different things, but we both have high drive. So um, there is an idea that like, you want what's best for me and I want what's best for you. And I, we, and we want what's best for our family mm-hmm. and not all those things always converge at the same place. Right. Sometimes what's best for me is only for me. doesn't benefit the family. Sometimes what's best for you is only for you. And some of those things are sometimes okay. Yeah. You know, um, other times it's not okay. And, and th- a conversation like that has to happen because you could start to respect your spouse more when they start to say, okay, life is not just about me. Right. But a lot of, marriages the man or the woman live a life where uh, there is a lot of selfishness Mm -hmm. involved 
And so you have to take a step towards selflessness. Mm -hmm. And um, one step forward is just start speaking life into your spouse with the things that they are doing well. They are investing in. You know, yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, you know, I think one of the things you said that we've talked about in marriage counseling before where you've you challenged when you challenge a couple couples, I think it's the reflection on n- the spiritual inti- t- intimacy with your spouse. But I think also spiritual intimacy with yourself and God and what that looks like. And I think you've 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 asked a lot of couples when we've ever done the counseling, you would say, where do you think your spiritual intimacy right now between you and God is at? like between one and ten? Mm-hmm. And if you give a high number or if the person gave a high number, you're almost taken back because the relationship is they're in marriage counseling because their marriage is at odds or, or, or they're struggling in their marriage. But they're saying their walk with Christ is very strong. And you're and, and I know we've had the conversation with a couple. We we're like, OK, you guys are both at a seven, eight, which that's pretty high on the scale of one to ten. But, really yet, but you're saying yep. your marriage is at a one. Yeah. So where are we missing yeah. the mark of not... It's impossible. <laughs> right. right. It's impossible. Right. Yeah, it's impossible. You can't... You, you, can't, you can't... You know, some people may disagree, and I, I'd be happy to have a biblical debate on it, but but you can't say that your relationship with the Lord is at an 8-9 and your marriage is at a 1. It's not... Unless the other person in the marriage is so checked out right. that... Uh, but... 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 The light and that and that person saying, "Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just everything's wrong with me. I just want to go live my life." Like, if that's coming out of their mouth, then okay, that, yeah. that'd be a rare occurrence. So, but you know, nine times nine times out of ten, if you're saying, "Oh yeah, my relationship with God's eight nine, and but my one with the spouse, then likelihood is either eight one, you're living in disobedience towards God, which you would not be an eight and nine then with the Lord if you're living in dis- disobedience with God. Number two, you're living either extremely selfish and you're defining your relationship with God personally and you don't believe it is meant to come out of you into other areas. And so then again, you want to be an eight, nine. And so there's a lot of things like there's very a rare, very, uh, a, a very strong rarity that there would actually be a level where you could have a strong relationship with God and a lacking relationship with your spouse, unless that spouse is just 100% checked out. Mm-hmm. And so um, that's why I always ask that, because then I challenge the notion that maybe we need to grow closer to God. Mm-hmm. Maybe you need to become more obedient, Yeah. because growing closer to God is followed by obedience. Right, right. And obedience spills right. into your spouse right away. I tell them, do, you know, do, do you live by the authority of every verse in the Bible? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, I do. Okay. Okay. All right. We go with the husband and we can address some things. Don't provoke your uh, children to anger yeah. and other things. And there's other things he, he should work on. And then I look at the wife and then and then you look at the wife. You say, hey, why don't you look at this verse in Corinthians that say uh, no husband and no wife is allowed to uh, deny their spouse their mm-hmm. body. Mm-hmm. How often do you think you deny your spouse their body? Oh, three, four times a week. Okay, so, so is, is the, Bible authority, the Bible authority yeah. authoritative or is it not? not. Well, yes. I would if he, bl- I don't see anywhere in that scripture that has qualifiers, Yeah, you know? So we have to live at a place, obedience will qualify our strength and our discipline and relationship with God. That's good. And, and it could, it will, and it could spill into your marriage in a deeper, richer way, unless your spouse is completely unbelieving, which the Bible gives us in the New Testament anecdotes for if you are a believer and your spouse is it if you're if you're if you're a believer and your spouse isn't the bible says to show christ Mm -hmm. to them every way which means you have to become even more sacrificial because you you are meant to literally live as christ Mm -hmm. uh, for your spouse in hopes to win them to christ and if you win them to christ then now the spouse is responsible for being submitted to god but up until that point if they are an unbeliever then it is your responsibility to allow the gospel to completely radiate right. from your life. So that that means walking in love, forgiveness, obedience, trust, yeah. everything. And you're saying, and you are not allowed to say if your spouse is unbelieving, when are they going to start giving back? Yeah. Not allowed to do it. Now, if they believe and they go and they receive Christ and they submit to God, then okay. Now they need now part of the discipleship process. Now they got to confront where they have fallen short. Right. But without submission to God, uh, uh, th- there is nothing else really to submit to. Right. And there's really no purpose in submission yeah. other than first leading with submission to God. So, mm. you know, if I boil it as we close, because I don't want to do a long podcast, um, 
I do think both of you and I are, are not only uh, submitted to each other's wants and needs, but more than anything, you and I are submitted to God yeah. as best as we can be. Um, it, we're sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We're sensitive to God. Uh, we get overwhelmed mm -hmm. emotionally in life, tiredness, all this stuff, which means we, you and I also have those priorities where we uh, do date nights and we get away with each other mm -hmm. and, and, and we make sure we deposit in each other. So therefore it is easy. You know, it's easy to brag about a workplace when your workplace deposits in you. Mm. It's not, you know, I, I know some corporate places they go, Hey, when you're out and about talk highly of us. And they're like, I'm not talking highly. You don't you do, do, you know, nothing, like, you don't, do you, don't get, you don't ever approve my vacation okay. times. You know, <laughs> you know, my, my healthcare is my trash bonus here. Ain't been my, in 12 years. Right. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, you're like, you've been promising me, you know, you've given me three, uh, promotions with no raise pay, you know. So it's like, it's like if you want someone to be talk highly of you and talk highly of it, you're gonna have to deposit some things right. into it. It's like going to a restaurant and they go, "Hey, these things are on the house," and you're like, "Man, I'm gonna talk so high." Like they uh, gave yes. us, they Yelp gave us reviews. like a free. You know, they gave us like a free pizza or something yeah. we didn't even ask for. And they just said, hey, we accidentally made an extra pizza. You guys want it? You're like, oh, wow. Like, that was really nice. Yeah, I'm going to go, you know. Yeah. We just bought a bought a car out of state with another dealership because I, I don't like a lot of the dealers yeah. locally. They're always like, come to the back office and, you know, bubble, See what we can it's do. like a three hour, like, you know, <laughs> you chess match nothing. before you even start the purchase right, process. Right, right. And then a mom and pop shot in Arizona. Like I started texting them and, and they're like, yeah, here. They showed me the invoice, showed me their profit margin. It was like, hey, blah, 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 you know, everything. And then we bought it within an hour through texting. Yeah. And yeah. it's like a legit big dealership. So yeah. I was like, oh, wow, I would I like them because they cared about my mm -hmm. experience as much as I cared about just like doing business right, with right. them. So now I'll speak highly of it where the other areas that you and I were there one day with our boys and they were jumping off wall at a local dealership. And this guy couldn't didn't want to give us no answers Nothing. until we filled out a credit you know, report, report yep. to like start working on financing. Wouldn't look for a car for me. Nope. Wouldn't, and I was just like, all right, well, I'm out. Yep. You know, and within a week, we're buying from somewhere else. Right. Why? Because this other place deposited as much as we were going to be depositing. Right. So that's very important to be make sure before you withdraw that you deposit some that's things in person. I love it, Ben. Closing thoughts? I love you. Love you. Thank you for those very nice words. Um, you're going to make me cry. Uh, <laughs> God bless you, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>